I think our museum is really a really special place because it gives us an opportunity to really pay respect to the Gadigal people of the Eora Nation and all of the clans of our First Nations people around Australia. It's a very special place in that regard because that Indigenous art was hidden away six, seven floors underground in the Fisher Library and now it's out, open for everybody to see. Universities like ours are remarkable places with a breadth and depth of impact which is sometimes overlooked. We do amazing research for the betterment of society and teach the best and the brightest which will go on to make the world a better place. We are an open university providing physical and social spaces for the wider community. And our new museum will certainly add greatly to the cultural experience of the people of Sydney and to visitors to our great city. It will provide a hub for cultural engagement where people can immerse themselves in our diverse and eclectic collections, reflect on the past and the future, and just relax and have some fun. So, the Chow Chak Wing Museum allows us to double the items from our collections that are on display. It'll allow us to open up new pathways to object-based research and teaching for our staff, for our students, but also for students, school students from New South Wales, and for those who want some lifelong learning. This cultural landmark would not have been possible without Dr. Chow Chak Wing's groundbreaking donation just over five years ago. Travel restrictions sadly prevent Dr. Chow from joining us tonight, but we are extraordinarily grateful for his foresight and generosity, which has enabled us to make this new museum a reality. Museums like the Chow Chat Wing are not about the past. They're about new ways of seeing our world, new perspectives on our culture and our society, about paths to new knowledge, and it is the generosity of these donors that has meant that we at the University of Sydney are able to make this contribution to our city and to the wider world. Thank you, it means so much. We could not have done it without you. The Chachak Wing Museum is, as we've all experienced already, it's a place and it's a space. It's a place of modern architectural elegance, which is befitting for the continuing evolution of the university. It's a space which contains the treasures that have been collected over so many years for this university. We've heard that this has only happened because of the wonderful donors in our community. And as governor and on behalf, therefore, of the people of New South Wales, thank you for what you have provided to the people of New South Wales. It seems to me that that contribution to the university is of itself 
not only um, a great accolade for the university, but to me it is a contribution which tells us that this is a signal, a sign of a great university. 歡迎大家出席周周永博物館開幕式對此我深表感謝在此我要向這片土地的傳統之人我要向西尼大學校監北林達女士校长史迈克博士表示诚挚感谢与你们密切合作的这几年不仅让我有机会参与创造这一文化地标也让我收获了珍贵的友谊感谢悉尼大学的全体员工包括博物馆馆长大会策展人以整个团队你们用专业的知识与技能把博物馆打造成了一个文化和学习的最佳场所感谢庄城沃克公司和FDC集团出设的设计和施工我也要感谢 伯特基金会，尼尔新基金会和赛德拉夫人等国外见证人，对博物馆的慷慨见证。很遗憾，由于疫情期间的旅行限制，我不能亲自到场与大家一起庆祝博物馆开幕。明天做这博物馆将开始
a treasure chest of human history, art and culture. And its doors will be open every day for everybody for free. At a time where there are some, including in public life, who question the value of art and culture and education, not just as a commodity, but as something that enriches the human spirit and all of our lives and adds to society, not just to individuals, this is more than just a building. It is an embodiment of that view about the spirit of humanity. It will open minds and it will connect people that bit more powerfully to their place in our human race. But I think it has never been more important to affirm the work of the university and the place of a museum in it. You know, a museum, a seat of the muses. A museum, a place of contemplation. But a place that in so many ways is epitomic of all that we do in this place. We learn through the tactile, we learn through the visual, we learn through the oral. And a museum is a place that brings together those many different cultures, those many different ways of knowing, those many different ways of understanding, those understandings past those imaginings of the future. And it challenges us as an intellectual community never to be limited, never to set limits on our pursuit for the true, for the good, for the beautiful. And that's why it's been a privilege to work with Dr. Chow Chuck Wing. Dr. Chow deeply understands that it is in the bringing together of cultures that we can find our future. And he is deeply committed to excellence. And so it's been a marvellous partnership for the university. I'd like to thank all the university staff who have made this remarkable place, this remarkable museum, a possibility. I'd like to thank Dr Chow and our other benefactors for sharing that vision. I'm incredibly honored to offer my sincere congratulations on the opening of the Chow Chuck Wing Museum at the University of Sydney. I would like to commend the vision and generosity of Dr. Chow Chuck Wing for making this world-class cultural institution a reality, particularly during these trying days. As a UN Secretary General, I saw time and time again how the arts and culture are essential in contributing to a more peaceful, sustainable and prosperous world. Indeed, culture crosses borders, builds bridges and brings the world together, especially in uncertain times like these. With the largest collection of antiquities in the Southern Hemisphere, I believe that this inspiring museum will benefit not only Sydney and Australia, but the larger world as well. Its intersection of art, science, history, and culture will surely benefit generations of global citizens to come. The Chow Chak Wing Museum is a monumental contribution to culture and to international understanding. It represents a significant enrichment to the city of Sydney, to Australia, and to the entire space around the Pacific Ocean. The world needs this museum. The world will benefit from its message. And most important of all, the Chow Chak Wing Museum will be a permanent testimony to human spirit and to the understanding among cultures and civilizations. My warmest congratulations on the opening of the Chow Chak Wing Museum. 
It will be a magnificent asset for all of the people of Sydney, both in educational and in exhibition terms. And I wish to congratulate everyone involved in bringing this beautiful project to a conclusion. Hello dear friends, I'm Petr Roman, former Prime Minister of Romania. And uh, right now I join all those uh, who are impressed by this uh, wonderful museum, this uh, piece of uh, marvel of architecture, uh, this uh, place of culture which is uh, within the University of Sydney, which was uh, made possible also with the uh, exceptional contribution of Dr. Chow. Uh, Dr. Chow, I think, is a well-known person in the field of uh, philanthropy. And the, in this case, uh, it's obviously uh, an act of philanthropy of the highest ethical value, because it's uh, for everybody wanting to understand the um, origins of culture, it's very valuable to the professor and the students. And I think uh, it uh, will be a, a place of uh, touristic attraction for all those coming to Sydney. Dr. Chow sent a message about cooperation, understanding and friendship. Uh, the museum is very important for a new generation in Australia, but for the whole world. Message is, we must help one another. So, thank you, Dr. Chow, for philanthropy and for friendship and understanding. I would like to congratulate Dr. Chow Chak with the opening of the Chow Chak Wing Museum in the University of Sydney. This is a remarkable occasion not only for Dr. Chow, but for his friends too. Congratulations once again for Dr. Chow's commitment and generosity, which will benefit not only the university, but also the citizens and visitors of this beautiful city. Dear Dr. Chow, I would like to warmly congratulate you on the opening of the Dr. Chow Shack Wing building in Sydney. All the very best. This is a truly a memorable event and a great symbol of philanthropy and generosity. Your project, Dr. Chow, is a symbol of human values, of understanding and cooperation, of humanism and friendship. Dr. Chow, you are a great believer. You are a dreamer. You are a strong supporter of culture and education, and you are committed to human values, peace and win-win cooperation. You are famous for your numerous philanthropic endeavors in Australia. Your passionate support for Australian cultural development and for the education of the future generations is impressive and valued worldwide. Dear Dr. Chow, you have chosen an amazing way to give back to a country that you believe has offered you so much. With this project, you contribute to the future of Australia while celebrating its glorious past. It has long been recognized that bridging the gap between the natural sciences and the humanities is an essential part of better understanding our world and its challenges. This magnificent facility, thanks to the generosity of Dr. Chow, stands as a testimonial to past efforts and a facilitator of future efforts of the University of Sydney to provide the space for such conversations between the sciences and the humanities. I'm happy to learn that Australia, Sydney, and all the citizens of Australia are going to have new museum. Beautiful project, which will be collection of the most important exhibits, about half of a million of them, will contribute not only to culture of Australia, but the culture of the world. I have to congratulate to Australians, but primarily to Mr. Chow Chuck, who is a great contributor to the world cultural and Australia. Uh, his homeland, Australia, is going to be richer for one beautiful, really beautiful museum. Modern generations typically don't think too much about the history 
faced with the challenges of the modern world. But the nation without thinking and know, knowing about the history doesn't have a real future. From that point of view, I really believe that opening this museum at the University in Sydney is something which will be very important and which will make a lot of positive contribution, especially for the new generation. It's a very great honor for me to congratulate you all on this very special occasion, opening of Chao Chak Wing Museum at Sydney University. And this process could be described by three very important keywords. Museum, which collects the wisdom and the art of the humanity. University, which is a place where people learn about the past and create the future. And of course, most of all, Dr. Cha, philanthropist. And I must say, this is much more than just philanthropy. Dr. Cha brings people together from all over the world. And it's interesting, when I saw the list of artists of your museum, I found Ilmar Stillers, which is Latvian Australian. And then I thought, what a great person Dr. Cha is. Chinese Australian is bringing together Latvian Australian I mean myself, just Latvian, Latvian. And I wish all the success to this museum. I believe in old Latin uh, saying, Historia Magister Vita Est, which translated to English means history is a tutor of life. To this one, I would like to add one of my own, which is uh, the museum is a mirror of history. In other words, the museum is the vehicle to history to tell us the story of life, of ancient, current, and future. I believe our good tutor will help us to be better people, to understand each other, and to promote tolerance, understanding, dialogue, and peace. Dear Mr. Chaucha, your donation is a tremendous work and achievement. The way how you are connecting different cultures from different continents and different epochs is amazing. I have to say, this is very unique case. Very unique case that I appreciate very much. Whenever people that are successful in business are thinking about culture, cultural connections, donations, cultural heritage, education, university, schools, they are fulfilling their missions on this earth, our common earth. And in that respect, Mr. Chauchak, I know that you are doing that from the bottom of your heart, but at the same time, you know perfectly how that is important for our common civilization. If you can trigger your colleagues to do the same on other continents, we are going to live in a better world. I am totally impressed about every fact about museum. I'm impressed about your work, your commitment, and your mission. Mr. Chauchak, congratulations once again. And congratulations, Dr. Chow, for your great Australian achievement that is devoted to all of us who are looking for shared future in peace, prosperity, and harmony. Museums and universities with Dr. Chow contribution are places where we search for beauty, truth, wisdom, and meaning in our lives, at the same time being the treasuries of diversities that are reflections of the grace of the world that lies in the diversity of its people. So Dr. Chow, thank you for our work and our common search for shared future through dialogue, respect, learning, and understanding. I think that this new Dr. Chow Chak Wing Museum will really be another tool for the University of Sydney to showcase the richness of the Australian culture, show artifacts, provide research facilities and all facilities that go with a state-of-the-art modern museum in a very nice modern architecture. All the energy he puts into strengthening international cooperation a mutual understanding. These are two things the world needs more than ever. 
Thank you very much to Dr. Chojak and congratulations to the University of Sydney and the whole of the community there. Thank you very much. I'd like to send my warmest congratulations to our friend and colleague Dr. Chauchak Wing for his generous donation to the University of Sydney and my congratulations to the University of Sydney for the acquisition of a magnificent museum named for the great philanthropist. I have had occasion to work with Dr. Chauchak Wing uh, in my former capacity as president of the World Leadership Alliance, Club de Madrid. As you all know, Dr. Chow is a great philanthropist, a man of great vision, uh, a man uh, who is laboring constantly to increase communication, mutual understanding and respect uh, between peoples and nations. I wish him long life and health and I wish the museum at the University of Sydney to become the focal point for many visitors, young and old, who are coming there in their leisure time and continuing in the process of lifelong learning that stands in front of all of us. Congratulations again, long life and success.